Have I got some questions for the guys down here? Got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. Get the fusion cores. We grant the access. What do you need them for? I'm no engineer, but I've been told we need them to help supplement our power generators. So if the task seems trivial to you, I assure you, it's very important to us. Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation-free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth, and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people, and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't. But Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Hey there. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. 
It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat. But with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Signs of radiation. Impressive. It hey, must be Ashes. rough living out there. Be. Yeah? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Is that your pit boy? It better be. Sorry about the news. It never ends these days. Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yeah. Why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. Lou, would you look at this place? This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. 
Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Yes. Huh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself. What do you do, my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Gran wouldn't let him. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. <clears throat> Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess, but I don't go there unless I have to, or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her.
Erin, look who I found. A stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? You're Austin's best friend? We've been friends forever. There aren't a lot of other kids in the vault. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Head down. Don't wait up for me. Something I need to do. <coughs> so you're the new guy. Uh, I heard we let someone into the vault. Uh, how long do you plan on sticking around? Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. Again? But I need your help here. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. <clears throat> Ugh, what I wouldn't give for just one evening of solitude. Well, there's a classic. Get a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. This strain is doing quite well. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. I'll have to see how it holds my up to years. exposure. Whatever it is that you wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone She's more than pretty you're bad. Mm, you whipping up a new batch of pies of today? Going. I heard Alexis promise one to Aaron. You must be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Let's see what you got. Take your time. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you tried Dr. to Forsythe was asking to see you. Girl's oh, yeah. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. Mark, I swear. Forty years of marriage. If you need anything from the depot, stop by in the morning. Hope that pit boy belongs to you. Tired of these tools giving out. Don't they know there's work to be done? Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Hey, 
got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. I'll expect you'll both stay out of trouble. Excuse me, Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. It must be rough living out there. Watch yourself. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Just taking a look around. Is the Overseer just letting anyone in these days? I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. 